Welcome everyone. The title of this talk is Rudra, Finding Memory Safety Bugs in Rust at the Ecosystem Scale. I'm Yechan Bae from Georgia Tech System Software and Security Lab. Preventing memory safety bugs are critical to the security of system software. Recently, Rust programming language is gaining popularity in systems programming because it promises memory safety without costly runtime checks such as garbage collection. Therefore, many large companies already started adopting Rust in their production code. However, there is an inherent dilemma between safety and control. Certain operations cannot be handled with safe languages because they are not part of the language runtime. Such operations include memory mapped I.O. and interaction with hardware or the operating systems. As a systems programming language, Rust needs to support these cases. To allow these operations, Rust provides an escape hatch called unsafe Rust. Rust is, in fact, consists of two parts, safe Rust and unsafe Rust. When a program is written entirely in safe Rust, the Rust compiler automatically guarantees the memory safety of the program. On the other hand, Rust allows programmers to perform certain low-level operations that are not guaranteed to be safe with unsafe Rust. In this case, the programmer must guarantee the absence of the memory safety box. In other words, memory safety of a Rust program depends on the correctness of all unsafe code it contains. Unsafe Rust can be represented in two ways. First, unsafe API can be directly exposed to users. In this case, the caller is responsible for providing a correct argument, and the caller needs to use unsafe keyword to call this function. Second, unsafe API can be encapsulated in safe APIs. In this case, API designer guarantees that this API never causes safety violation, and the caller can use these APIs just like other functions in Rust. We focus on the bugs in the second case. If an encapsulated API does not correctly check the invariant for internal unsafe code, it allows a user of the API to cause memory safety bugs without using the unsafe keyword. Such bugs are generally considered as serious bugs because they break the trust boundary between Rust packages. In this talk, we introduce Rudra, a static analyzer for unsafe Rust. The online of talk is as follows. First, we identify three common bug patterns in unsafe Rust by reviewing known unsafe Rust bugs and auditing famous Rust packages. We devised two new algorithms to detect these bugs and formulate them as a static analyzer named Rudra that can scale to the entire Rust ecosystem. So far, Rudra found more than half of the memory safety bugs known to the Rust security advisory database. These bugs are found in code base, written, and extensively reviewed by Rust experts. Let me first start by explaining the three bug patterns. The first bug pattern is panic safety bug. This is caused by conflict between the manual resource handling in unsafe Rust code and automatic resource handling of the Rust compiler in invisible code paths that handle exceptional program state. The second bug pattern is higher order invariant bug. The bug is caused by unchecked assumptions on user provided higher order values. The third bug pattern is send sync variance bug. Rust thread safety is managed by two traits, send and sync. Complex types such as synchronization primitives, like rock, like locks, require manual assertions of send and sync. Send sync variance bug happens if a generic type specifies incorrect condition for its type parameters. Due to the time limitation, we will focus on the second bug pattern, higher order invariant bug. Please check our 20 minute version for the other type of bugs. Higher order invariant bug is caused by unchecked assumptions on user provided higher order values. Recall the access function explained earlier. Access is defined as a safe function, so it must check that index is inbound before using unsafe code. This is a basic invariant check. Then, what does higher order invariant mean? As a high level language, Rust allows programmers to pass not only values, but also custom logics in forms of a type parameter or a closure. For instance, Rust arrays have sort by function, which takes a comparator function from the user and sorts the array based on it. Just like access function needs to check invariance of the index parameter, sort by function also needs to check invariance of compare function. Unfortunately, guaranteeing the higher order invariant is much more difficult than checking a simple invariant on values. Higher order invariant bugs are difficult because the assumptions internal unsafe code make on user provided logic are implicit. The common examples of such assumptions are assuming that the function call always returns the same value, leading to time of check to time of use box, or unverified semantic assumptions, such as assuming that the comparator function satisfies a transitivity or associativity. 
Rudra found the higher order invariant bug in string join function in the standard library. Let me explain the bug with code example. This function takes an array of types that can be converted to a string as the first parameter and a separator string as the second parameter. For instance, if ABC is given as an array and the pipe is given as a separator, it returns a string that contains A pipe B pipe C. It first calculates the result length. Note that the original code has an overflow check here, which is not represented in the slide. Then, it allocates a string with that size, creates a view to the uninitialized portion. It then copies the array content by alternating the array contents and the separator to the uninitialized area. Finally, it overrides the length of the string to indicate that it is fully initialized. The bug here is that the contents of the array are converted twice for the first time during the length calculation and for the second time during an actual copy. Here, unsafe code assumes that both conversions return the same result. Hence, if the type that is converted to different strings is used, as in the right side of the slide, join function returns a string that contains uninitialized bytes. This example shows a few challenges to detect such type of bugs. The first difficulty is incomplete definitions. We need to detect bugs in this function without knowing a concrete type T and its corresponding convert implementation. The bug detector must be able to make assumptions on such holes to find bugs in this function. The second difficulty is that some information is not available in later compiler stages. For instance, safety of APIs are only used at type checking stage and discarded during the compilation. Such information does not exist in the later compiler stages, such as LLVM IR. Our solution to this problem is a flow-based heuristics that intermixes IRs at different compiler stages. Rudra works as a custom Rust compiler. It extracts two internal IRs from the original Rust compiler. It uses high-level IR, HIR, to extract code structure such as type and function definitions and the location of unsafe blocks. And it uses mid-level IR, MIR, to extract code semantics such as call dependencies. Then, Rudra uses these two IRs to detect the three bug patterns. It implements two core algorithms, the unsafe data flow checker and the sync sync variance checker. We will only look at the unsafe data flow checker in this talk. The unsafe data flow checker models six types of safety bypasses. Then, it uses a coarse grain data flow analysis to detect higher order invariant bugs. The unsafe data flow algorithm finds a data flow from a safety bypass to the location where implicit assumptions are made to detect higher order invariant bugs. In the join example, the unsafe data flow checker detects the safety bypass, marked as blue, and the assumptions on user provided logic, marked as red. It then detects the data flow from the safety bypass to the user provided logic and generates a warning based on the observed flow. That's the basic idea of the unsafe data flow checker, and the detail of the algorithm is described in our paper. The evaluation result is quite promising. We analyzed all 43k packages uploaded to Rust main package repository and found 264 unknown memory safety bugs throughout the Rust ecosystem. This includes many bugs in code bases that are written and extensively reviewed by Rust experts. This indicates that the bugs found by Rudra are subtle and non-trivial. They also resulted in 112 Rust security advisories and 76 EVEs. They represent more than half of the memory safety bugs known to the Rust security advisor database since it started tracking Rust bugs in 2016. As the next step, we compared Rudra with existing approaches. We compared Rudra with dynamic analyzers, fuzzers, and MIRI, and with a static analyzer, UAF checker from PLDI 2020. The results shows that none of the bugs found by Rudra are detected by this method. This indicates that Rudra can find unique bugs. During the evaluation, Miri found additional bugs that are not covered by Rudra's algorithm, indicating that Miri and Rudra are complementary to each other. Although Rudra can find subtle, non-trivial, and unique bugs, it has three major limitations. First, Rudra is not exhaustive. The heuristics used by Rudra is, are not complete. Rudra also uses intra-procedural analysis that will miss bugs caused by the interaction of multiple APIs. Therefore, the absence of report from Rudra does not guarantee the soundness of a package. Second, it has relatively high false positive rate. We intentionally limited the complexity of the algorithm that Rudra uses to achieve the required scalability. As a trade-off, Rudra incorporates false positives. 
To alleviate this issue, we provide three precision mode for Rudra so that users can adjust the sensitivity and precision according to their use case. Third, Rudra finds bugs at the definition site. This is both st strengths and shortcomings of Rudra. This allows Rudra to proactively prevent bugs, but it does not give information about how much packages are affected or how likely the API is used in a vulnerable way. We believe this is an interesting future research direction to assess the safety of the Rust ecosystem. So far, that was our research, Rudra, a setting analyzer for unsafe Rust. Thank you for listening, and I'd be happy to take any questions.